Now in this particular video we are going to cover about a ch group command it basically means the change group or you can say the change group ownership okay from one group to another okay to understand this uh, uh, command uh, just think like a basic scenario suppose there is there are the two teams in a company that is the one for a uh, tester and another for the you can say a uh, red developer okay uh, suppose a uh, tester wants to share uh, one file or uh, to some other uh, group members that is uh, they these are some kind of group members okay so uh, not uh, for a particular member of that group but uh, this team tester team wants to share those file to all the groups so in this scenario we can easily use this ch group command okay so in this kind of scenario it will be helpful uh, because uh, you don't have to share that file to one particular a user okay so that if you share that file or change the ownership from from file to that group so every member of that particular you group can easily access the can easily access that particular file okay so to understand this scenario first what we will need to do we will first need to create a group okay i hope it is visible to you guys uh, so to add groups uh, what is the command so the command is nothing but the group add and uh, group name okay so what we will do group add and let's make a group name as a developers permission denied because we have not used sudo uh, sorry i have entered wrong password i think yeah group has been created uh, now what i will do i will just uh, create two users add user user1 again we have to use sudo password no extra information i have to provide yes user1 is added user2 test test yes both the user has been created now what we have to do we have to just uh, uh, add those two users into the developer group okay so how you can add uh, those two users into the developer group so for that also we have a particular command that is a user modification so i will use sudo user mod hyphen a and uh, uh, we use i think hyphen g and the group name is developers and the name of the user that is a user user1 and user2 i hope it should work again okay, not working user1 if i provide oh yeah added and again user2 okay so groups has been added uh, these two users has been added to the developer group to check what you can do g tent and group okay so here you can see user1 and user2 and in developers we have two users that is user1 and user2 okay so uh, now what we have to do uh, i will create a one file with uh, our root user so first of all what i will do i will change my uh, like switch to the root user i will go move back to directory in ls okay we have file.txt i will first remove file.txt and test okay both are root now what we have to do i will create one file that is touch file.txt okay so if i will change check the permissions for this particular file so here you can see uh, we have root root the user is root and the group is also root user so in this case what we have to do we have to just change the group ownership not user like this one we have to change this group ownership to some other users or to some other group so but in this case here you can see in the permission we have the group has only read permission okay so now uh, what we can do uh, we can change the group uh, from root to which group that is a developer group so for this we have a command that uh, is ch group so how you can do it ch group ch grp and the group name is developers okay developers and uh, then what we have to do we have to just provide the file name 
okay now i will do ls hyphen and file.txt and here you can see the group name has been changed from root to developers okay so now what i will do i will log in using uh, both the user su user1 and i will enter the password test and again one more terminal i will open up here uh, like this i will increase the font size so it should be visible to you and su which user it, that was user2 okay and again enter the password same thing move back here also the same thing i will do i will move back one directory and i will do ls hyphen l and file.txt and here you can see developers and again here developers okay uh, wait a minute um, what key I just entered here yeah. ls hyphen l file dot txt okay so here you can see in, bo in both the scenario we are getting developer as a group okay so now what I as a user one I will try to uh, like change the some file content file dot txt and here you can see it is showing me permission denied why it is showing permission denied because here you can see we have not added any kind of permission he has just read permissions okay so now what we can do uh, okay so we have only the read permission here for the groups okay so if I will just uh, try to access so I can just only read this file.txt but if I want to uh, add some kind of text or add something in that particular file so here you can see the permission is denied so now what we will need to do we will need to just add a permission for the groups for that particular file okay so how we can do it using the ch mode command just because uh, we don't have uh, uh, like execute permission to the groups that's why we are getting this error so ch mode what you can do for group g plus i will do uh, write and execute and i will remove the read permission uh, for others and the file name that is file.txt and done and uh, now in this case i will just check so here you can see uh, read write execute has been added for groups and uh, uh, read has been removed from for others okay and the group is developers as we performed earlier so now what we can do uh, uh, if i will try to access this uh, file that file file.txt so now let's try for user one i will remove all those things so cat file.txt so here you can see i will just hi this line has been entered by user one control d to save and again here also uh, i will i will here i will try to access this file uh, sorry file.txt and here you can see that line I'm getting and for uh, user 2 also I will try to enter some line with respect to user 2 that is hi this line has been added by user 2 control T to save and again I will try to access so let's access by user 1 uh, not user one uh, it's file.txt and here you can see both the lines has been added and uh, it is accessible by both the users so this is the benefit of like group command like uh, you can uh, you don't have to share that file with each and every user suppose there there is a team of 50 members okay so uh, you 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 can't like you can't just uh, share those files to all those 50 people separately okay so that's why uh, we have this group command change group ownership and just uh, like uh, that file will be accessible by each and every group member so guys that's all for today's video 